how to play the A minor chord. In most scores, the minor is reduced down to M. So when you see an A minor in chord charts and most guitar music, it will be denoted as AM. Right, let's play an A minor chord. Firstly, place the first finger on the first fret of the B string. Next, place the second finger in the second fret of the D string. Finally, place the third finger in the second fret of the G string. Now strum. Let's see that again on the guitar. Firstly, press the first finger onto the first fret of the B string. Next, Place the second finger in the second fret of the D string. Finally, press the third finger in the second fret of the G string. Now strum. You'll notice the X on the bottom E string of the chord chart. This means you shouldn't strum that string. So, strum from the A string upwards. If your A minor isn't sounding correct, here's a few suggestions as to what might be causing the problems. Firstly, check the tuning of the guitar. Take all your fingers off and play the open strings one by one and possibly check it with a tuner. Next, place your fingers back on the guitar and reform the chord. Check carefully that the fingers are properly inside the frets and they're not overlapping onto the wrong frets or even the wrong strings. If your A minor chord still sounds incorrect, you want to check each string one by one. By doing this, you'll be able to find out which strings are at fault and this will give you a better idea of how you can correct the issues. If it's a fingered string that sounded dull or muted, then try pressing a little harder. Also, check that the fingers properly seated on the string between the frets. If it's an open string that's sounding muted, that means one of your fingered strings is overlapping, so you need to bring it up onto its tip. This might involve bringing the thumb down the back of the neck. By doing this, it automatically brings the fingers onto their tips. It may feel a little uncomfortable, but in time you'll get used to the feeling and it'll become very natural to you. If it's the top E string that's muted, more often than not, this is caused by the side of the first finger touching the string as it curves round the back of the neck. You can avoid this again by bringing the thumb round towards the floor which brings the fingers round and away from the side of the guitar. Also, just look closely and carefully at your fingers to see where it's touching and then move your fingers round into a better position so they're not muting the strings. If you have particularly large or stubby fingers and you're finding this chord particularly cramped and difficult to do, there is an alternative way to finger it. With this method, you only use two fingers to achieve the chord. You place the second finger on both the D and the G string. So let's try it. Firstly, place the first finger on the first fret of the B string. Then, place the second finger on the D string, overlapping it to the G string. Just let it flop slightly on its side so it's covering the two strings. Now strum the chord. Let's see that on a guitar. Firstly, place the first finger on the first fret of the B string. Then, press the second finger on the second fret of both the D string and the G string. See how it's covering both strings. Now strum the chord. If the chord doesn't quite sound right, just use the steps we used earlier to find out what's wrong and correct it. 
Whichever way you choose to play this chord, it isn't that important, as long as you're enjoying playing the guitar and you're getting a good sound. <laughs> 